Welcome back, VTV and viewers. I'm John Felton. Emily. Emily, we're live. Uh, roll the intro? To start with announcements, the girls tennis team added another layer to this incredible two weeks by sweeping the Missouri State sectionals and state corner finals at Minor Park last week. The Lady Knights will make their fourth trip to the state final four in six years. The girls will play in the team tournament on Thursday at Cooper Center in Springfield that will be followed by the individual tournament Friday and Saturday. The girls would always love to see faculty there and wanted to thank Suzanne Slipitzer for coming by to cheer them on. As for soccer, volunteers are needed to represent Spofford running the gate on Friday night. Contact E. Beth Leach or Isabella Pedrajita if you're interested in come out for senior night to watch our nights take on Wine Dot at 7 under the lights. So John, are you excited for senior night? Absolutely. It's going to be such a fun event. It's kind of sad that that's my like last kind of big senior moment. But the good thing is we have districts at home next week, so I'll have a couple more home games left. And I'd like to remind everyone that Barstow Nation Show 4 will be this Saturday at 10 a.m. This week we'll be highlighting Pink Out, which is Friday night. The event supports the Susan G. Komen Foundation, so make sure you come out and support the event. Now that we're in October, it's crunch time for all early decision and early admission applications. The early of which is Saturday, October 15th. As a result, the College Counsel Counseling Office has an incredibly busy week for us. In terms of college meetings, we have admissions reps from 33 different schools vi visiting us this week. If you're interested in any of the schools on the screen, sign up on Naviance as soon as possible to make it to the meetings. Mr. Hill and Mr. Fox would like to remind you that actually attending these meetings is definitely to your advantage in terms of demonstrated interest as well as simply getting to know the reps. Shoot them, e shoot them an email if you have any questions on this or any other part of the process. So Emily, are you going to the musical this week? I sure hope to make it out there. And if you plan, if you do plan on going, buy tickets online now or before and after school this week. To get a quick glimpse at what we may see this week in the play, let's take a look at a piece made by Kaylin Ross and Annie James. Roll it. The musical tells the story of Joseph and his coat of many colors from the book of Genesis in the Bible. So Joseph was Jacob's favorite son out of 12. And because he was his favorite, he bought him this coat of many colors and it made his brothers jealous. His brothers faked his death and sold him into slavery, which took Joseph to Egypt. I'm Ethan Ellis and I'm a senior and I play Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Eventually, because he had the gift of being able to interpret dreams and uh, tell the meaning of them, he met the favor of the Pharaoh and so worked his way up and became um, one of Pharaoh's right-hand men. And so that sort of is the story of how the Israelites got to Egypt. Um, and then at the end, he's reunited with his family and reconciled at the end, so it has a happy ending. Um, my name is Grace McGowan, I'm a senior and I'll be playing the narrator. Well, I think what's cool about uh, this whole season of theater is that we are lower school, middle school, and upper school. And what you'll see in this musical is you'll see all three divisions working together um, to tell this really fun story. So I'm really excited that this musical is going to be all sung through. So there's not going to be any lines. It's going to be more of an operatic sort of style. And so that's really exciting to be a part of a different sort of production. And I really wanted to audition for this musical because it's my last musical. And so I really just wanted to give my all for this last production and really have fun with it. Every song's in a different genre, and it's just like a lot of fun to put on. It's not too serious or anything, and it'll just be a great time. So make sure everyone gets their tickets. Uh, Barstow students always come to our theater shows for free, and the show is October 13th, 14th, and 15th. John, after watching that piece, I'll definitely have to go see it. Absolutely. It looks like a great event. And changing gears to debate, they traveled to Dallas, Texas this Friday and Saturday for the Heart of Texas Debate Tournament. Good luck to everyone competing. And on one final note, first quarter grades will be available online Friday, October 14th. 
Well, Barstow, I think that wraps up today's show. I'm Emily Lopez. And I'm John Felton. Have a good one, Barstow.